Let me know if this rings a bell for you. You like to use the standings overlay and you also want to have all the information available. You know, we're talking about fastest lap time, last lap time, delta lap time, gap time, interval, tire compounds, I don't know, position changed. So all of it, you want to know everything. But then there's a problem. It makes it huge. It's too big. It's way too big. You don't see anything else than just your standings. You know, you have an overlay and this S wide as half of your game. You do not want that. But don't worry, we have a solution for it. Look at this example. We have almost everything turned on. Let me turn on the last lap times as well. And it makes it so wide. The original standings is really not as wide. It's a, it's a really thin overlay. But then all the information you need just makes it way too wide. So let's turn our problem into the solution. You will find the sliding menu option on the general tab. And right now it's turned off. As soon as I turn it on, what it's going to do is all the columns that you see here, it's going to turn into one single column and it will only show one matrix at a time. So one metric at a time, it will show a tire compound and then another time it will show interval and so on going through each. So if I turn this on, we see that um, we're seeing the tire uh, compound column. And if you wait a little bit, we'll see that there's gonna be a small animation that changes this, this column. And right now, it will only rotate through all the columns that you have turned on. So if you haven't turned on, for example, the interval, then you will never see this in the sliding menu. So it's important to know that whatever you turn on, the sliding menu just, you know, iterate through it, just cycle through it. And then you can decide what you want to see, giving you a chance to see even more information without using such a wide space and having such a big distraction. So feel free to use it and I hope you're gonna enjoy it. Then don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click over here. And it really helps me grow the channel, it helps to spread the world into the sim community so more people can find this overlay and use it. See you in the next video.